This was so poorly documented on YouTube, I thought I'd make my own. Um, what you have here is the Quantum Turbo battery. I'm replacing the battery with a 16 or $18 one off of Amazon. Here's the electronics that came out of it. This goes, obviously this is the face of it, if you look at it here, samey same. These are the two wires people are talking about that connect to the battery so that when you pull this out at just a little, this much, it then gets stuck, it won't come out anymore. This is why. This is how it's in there. You see the connectors. And they're marked. It's not going to be a mystery. You can see the marking down there, I think. Positive on the left, negative on the right. Pretty simple stuff. So you're not going to muff it up. The problem... Those two screws. Uno mas that one there. You take those out and now that whole interface there comes off. That's what this is. Be careful with this because I believe this piece here may actually hold some discharge. So if you touch the wrong thing you're probably going to get zapped. So getting back to it. You take the screws out and this will loosen up. This whole interface comes off. If you notice again all the electronics in there it will only come out, but so far, here's the reason why. You see all that glue? You see all that glue under there? That's the reason why. Let me see if I can show it to you down here. Glue, that's the glue on the side. That's the, that's the hole I cut in on the back. Trying to maintain some of the st structure so I didn't cripple it all together. I wanted the pack to still be able to work as a pack. This line here, I held up one of those batteries to this whole case to show me how far out from here it comes. And then decided, I'm going to cut out this little hole here. Put a piece of wood in there. Took a hammer to it, did not move. That told me it's really glued in really well. So don't don't be afraid. I I didn't take this to start wedging it out, but what I did, I went down the side, went down the back, went down the front. And these two issues were nothing. I didn't have any uh, resistance. This one, again, if you recall, I showed you all that glue down there. Right down there. Let me see if I can get it to focus for you. That's where this came in handy. I bullied it this way a little bit, just a little, and you could feel the resistance. And then I just turned it over after that, knowing that I'd gotten most of it out. Took my piece of wood, almost as big as the hole. I didn't want to concentrate too much on a bit of the battery. So that's where I scored it. This is the piece that actually comes out of here. This is showing where I scored it because I wanted to, I wanted to eventually break through the cardboard that I knew was going to be down the bottom of that too. Anyway, short story long, I'm going to get the new one in there, tape this up. I talked to the photographer. They didn't care about the structure or how it looks. What they're concerned with was uh, it working, not how it looks. So I'm going to put this piece back on it. When I tape it back up, I'll get some kind of a decent tape on it, maybe clear shipping tape, the uh, two inch wide, something like that. Put it back on there. Uh, I might even take this little piece off and put it back in there for the backing because that's all it is is backing um, get the new battery out over here put it up in there oh gee look ready to go $30 and 30 minutes 
But now that you know what it is, the 30 minutes you're spending, the 30 minutes you're spending what I spent to try to figure all this out is now eight or 10 minutes. So I hope this helps. Hope you enjoy it and I hope it works for you too. All the best. Hope you like, hope it helps. Bye guys. This is the second one. I'm gonna be using a wood chisel. It's probably three quarters inch. I'm not sure. I don't have the, it's one of the rusty ones. So if you recall, there was nothing down here and there was nothing down here. This is the side where all the glue was on the other one. So, Okay, it's starting to tear up here. If you remember, I went into the bottom of this one and now it's breaking the integrity, the structural integrity of that case there because I'm trying to go in down here. So I'm gonna try to see if I can just go straight down into the glue and get the stuff off the side because that's where Sorry about blocking the view, but yep, it's starting to come across. It's starting to come out. I don't know if you can see down there, but it's starting to come, starting to come out pretty simply now. So for me to go back in and do the rest of it, I'm probably gonna block some view again, but I'm basically using the wedge. Yeah, it's breaking free. Now it's just the bottom. There it goes. That broke off the side. Now, I guess I'm gonna just have to wiggle it back and forth a couple times to see if I can break the bottom of it. Oh boy. Ah. Yeah, they didn't want you to do this. Ah. I don't know how I'm gonna maybe just wiggle it back and forth a couple of times. But, loosely speaking, you see that all down in there, I doubt if you can see it, I don't have my flashlight with me tonight, but down in there is where it's, um, the glue is broken from the side running down here. Now the issue is the stuff on the bottom here, right in here. And I'm trying to wiggle the battery back and forth. You see me doing that and that and seeing if I can finally break that down, if it will or not. It is kind of malleable, the glue that they use. Um, this is what this is what I got out of it last night. So you can see it's malleable and it can almost go back together again. So years later it's still glue it's still sticky Ugh. yeah this is just going to take horsepower to get it out so in essence i'll see you uh in just a couple seconds on video okay the good news i got the battery out this is the battery it's not quite out yet but in trying to maintain the structure, you recall I said that? This is the glue. And as I was pulling it out, it's pulling apart the interior. This is the whole base plate. This is the bottom part of the case here, this piece here. Basically, I was banging these lips on something sturdy and this started to slide down and that's when I felt 
the innards of the bag basically coming with it. This is the whole side here. Uh, so I'm going to try to salvage that. I'm going to leave the tape running in case you want to see it, but basically I'm just trying to, I'm going to try to get the glue off of it. And it's not going to be very pretty video wise. This is the glue. See how malleable it is and yet still sticky. And this bag I'm sure is over a decade old. It's got to be. So that's out. I'm going to try to put this back together again. Once it's screwed back together I think the integrity will still be there I wish I could show you the bottom but there's nothing really to see here's the bottom here I'm gonna wedge that off much like I just did on the side once you get an edge in there you can see how it comes pretty much comes right off I guess overall my point is don't be afraid to do this yourself it can be done it's just that the only other video I saw wasn't a video of the actual uh, procedure itself. It was just somebody talking you through it. I'm a hands-on kind of, I like to see what's going on guy. And after looking online and not finding anything, I wanted to, uh, I figured, hey, this only takes a couple minutes. So this is the old battery. Here's a new one. I'll have, I'll have it back together in no time. I hope the video has helped. Um, it's easy to do. $20 battery and you got a uh, battery pack again. The wife has already fired off several flashes inside from the one I did just before this one. Um, it seems to be working great. So a $20 battery and a 10 minute, 15 minute process in the video, I think you're good to go. So uh, step up to the plate, get it done guys. It's, it's pretty easy stuff. Thanks for watching.